excited to be here and to be a co-chair of this campaign. Um, it brings me back to uh, the first campaign I ever was involved with was Mayor Mark Simpson, and I know his, his um, son is here today. He, he, I, I was just so proud of Paul for everything he did for the city and his legacy is great. And I look forward to this next mayor who has that same gentlemanly approach uh, to an executive position and, 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 and the grace that is associated uh, with the job, and not that many people in elected positions have those qualities, the grace, uh, the, the gentleman approach, and, and the ability to do what's right. He doesn't look at this as a stepping stone to something else, like some people do when they run for office. He looks at it, he's here because he wants to do something great. He, when I say Bethlehem is the jewel of the Lehigh Valley, probably one of the greatest cities in this commonwealth. Uh, that's what he cares about, and know our city's gonna thrive and be great under your leadership. Uh, so Bob has had a, a long history of being involved in Michigan government. And then, of course, we all know that he's had the uh, honor of serving as a uh, city councilman here for 18 years in the city of Bethlehem and uh, served as council president for two stints for a period of 2008 to 2012 and uh, uh, also from uh, 1998 to 2002. So eight years as council president. He served our community on so many organizations, nonprofit boards where he didn't get paid a dime, but just his time, uh, such as the Northampton County uh, Transportation Authority, the Bethlehem Area Public Library, the Housing Authority, the Tourism Authority, uh, Bethlehem Recreation Commission. There is absolutely no person that I can think of that is more prepared to lead our city because he's had such a wealth of experience uh, from, from so many aspects as a father, uh, as an educator, uh, as a public servant uh, here in Bethlehem, uh, and as a devoted a citizen of our community. 1741, when David Nitschman and Count Zinzendorf founded this community and named it Bethlehem, after the birthplace of Jesus, there's been a sense that Bethlehem is indeed a special place. Today, I am as optimistic as ever about the future of our great city and the well-being of its citizens. I believe that Bethlehem's best days are not behind us, but our days are in the future. Bethlehem, however, like most cities, faces challenges. Strong, experienced, and mature leadership will be needed. I believe my past leadership, my vision for the future, can and will continue to move Bethlehem forward and continue it as a special place where people want to live, work, and raise a family. As Mayor Marcinson would always say, the jewel of the Lehigh Valley. After consulting with many of you for the past year, and with the support of my wife Jane and the rest of my family, I am announcing today that I am a candidate for mayor of the city of Bethlehem, and I'm asking for your support to lead our city. My dedication to serve the city was instilled by the <coughs> finest example I knew. At an early age, I was infused with the importance of public service by my father. He served 20 years on the Bethlehem Police Department. While he passed away far too young, he did not do so before setting an example of service that I will always carry with me. I believe I have honored his example with my service to this community for the past 17 years. My vision for Bethlehem will be specifically outlined in the coming weeks of this campaign. And my priorities will be clear. One, a fiscally responsible and transparent city government. Two, strong public safety. Three, smart economic development. And four, thriving and safe neighborhoods. We cannot move forward unless our city government is transparent, fiscally sound, strong neighborhoods, and our streets are safe and unless we have employment opportunities to expand our city's tax base. All of our citizens, no matter what their race, religion, economic status, or politics, deserve nothing less from our city government. As your mayor, I pledge that I will be open and accessible, and that I will serve you to my, in your best interest, and I pledge that I will be always honest. What is required now is strong, 
long, experienced, and mature leadership that puts a premium on service first. I cannot promise that this task will be easy. But working together, there isn't anything that we can't accomplish. It's been my life's advocation to serve, care for, and secure a successful future for Bethlehem and for our families. As your mayor, it will be my goal to ensure that we have a city worthy of our founders, those who built her, worthy to those who have for generations built, up, built upon those humble beginnings, and worthy of the name of them that was given to her in 17. 41.